reaction from water soluble calcium. I did way too many eggshells in this, but just to kind of show you guys, it's sort of bubbling up really quick. Um, I used a distilled corn vinegar for this. Most distilled vinegars are made with petroleum, but this one's made out of corn, so I felt okay using it. And this is kind of the reaction that it's going. All right, so after a week, um, this is what it turned into. So as you see, there's no more bubbles really coming up. I mean, I might get one or two here or there. Um, the colors changed um, as well. So this is completed water soluble calcium. Um, will be used during the flowering stages or anytime I feel like there's a, a, a calcium deficiency, if need be, um, at a rate of one to 1,000, uh, which is basically about four milliliters a gallon. So this is super cheap to make, just eggshells and vinegar, wait for the reaction to finish. Um, if you're questioning whether you put enough eggshells in at the very end, um, once you get to this point, drop some eggshells in. If you see a reaction, then it's not done, which means it's not saturated enough, um, which means that you need to add more eggshells and let it sit until it stops bubbling. Um, if you add eggshells and it doesn't bubble, it means that the uh, vinegar has taken up all of the calcium that it basically can, or it's dissolved as much calcium as it can, and the liquid is saturated, which means you are good to go. So just strain this out. You don't want to let this sit. Strain this out, get all the material out, and then sort it in a bottle and seal it.